Alright, alright, alright. I think I fixed my fucking mic. Am I live? Okay. <laughs> I base boosted my fucking webcam before, so that's why it sounded like that. But now I'm actually on my standard fucking interview mic. That's what I do for fucking interviews. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Kingu Ja seems so 50 50 in my head. Because, like, as, as, like, the amount of shit I can think of on paper whenever it comes to a Ja Raiden matchup, I just think about it in the sense of, like, this guy is fucking just a machine. He actually just invalidates most, like, on paper fucking, like, thought or reasoning I've seen to most matchups. Like, he will just fucking get in your head. I'm not gonna lie, though, with patience like that, like, that up smash was kind of, like, such a good demonstration of just, like, I'm Fox, fuck you, but in, like, a very skilled way. I'm not taking that away, but it's a very, like, you know, it takes skill to be able to take your fucking character strength and be like, mm, you know what, fuck your character. And I think fucking Kingu's Fox is a very good chance versus, like, in, in more particular than other Foxes, you can see it now, like, how fucking, like, just patient and, like, willing to just, like, abuse Fox's tools he is. I mean, that's what happens when you're a Puff main first and then you go into fucking being a fox main in it like you just you learn you learn to really fucking understand what drives you mad about the other character's tools i can't believe he fucking got away that up here as well that would if i was Ja right now i'd be fucking blood would be boiling i fucking hate fox as sick as he is i fucking hate some moments like that like that was beautiful don't get me wrong but you know it's easy to hate fox but it's also easy to hate luigi so it's 50 50 in that sense all right the thing is that always the reason why I'm talking about like how Ja like invalidates a lot of just objective kind of like on paper stuff in his matchups is because his punish literally it's the same kind of deal with Prof. He makes reads look like flowcharts, like as if he's just always gonna hit that read on you, even when you do choose it differently. He just fucking like he just squeezes, he milks out everything against it. All right, never mind though. A fucking very very good choice of fucking moves there by King Do. Like literally doesn't allow him to DI away at all. That's why Fox is fucking so good versus uh uh Luigi, more than other characters. Because you can just him like like Luigi and a lot of other matchups can just like take the DI correctly and then just like recover and still like you know it's not free but like make his stocks milk along a lot faster. But you know, fucking Kingo just uses the right move which is shine and it's like suddenly that that stock that should have lasted twice as long is now done in the water. Mm. The fucking tech chase off invisible ceiling, I see that. B, B. How's he gonna get past the wall? Okay, now, nah, but this is fucking scary now if you're Kingu. Here he fucking goes, jar moment. Hit it? Oh, the nicest short one ever. Kingu's very fucking good at fucking understanding how side B is the bane of all fox. Bro, this is fucking looking quite bad. This is fucking looking really good. Like, that was not most foxes I see versus Kingu. You know, you get stuck in the vortex, they kind of get a bit tilted. Kingu was a puff man. Fucking is used to playing these good fucking methodical movements. Okay, okay, okay. A bit of grabbing, a bit of grabbing on that. This is gonna kill? Easy. There's a good momentum reset for the stage for sure. You need that. You need that. You need to fucking like put, you know, put your ego on the table and say, I can still punish you. Even if you're winning neutral, I can still make you your life a living hell as long as if I touch you, you fucking die. That's why FD is good, even as like objectively, but also in terms of a set. The momentum you gain is insane if you can fucking just like swing it into your favor. Make the other person scared whether they know it or not. Ooh, the fucking Kingu shorts have been crazy. That's I feel like that's gonna be the side for a lot of this is how we can do all those side bees. Alright, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Should be dead. Seal it just for good luck. Give a little love tap. Mwah. Off the stage. And now to be honest, at this point, this is just a fucking jar riding combo video. Like you can do what you want. But you, you can't you can't be a lead like this versus Jar. His punish is too crisp. 
Oh my god, the fuck. He threaded the needle and... <laughs> That's a hard fare to find. That is like a presence of mind moment. That's like a, you are going to go this way and I don't care. Like, I'm not even going to think about it. My muscle memory takes hold. Beautifully, beautifully timed misfire into the up there. But what's it for? Come on, let's be honest. What's it for? Go game three. You know, he trades the fucking season. Of course he fucking trades that into the craziest chain grab ever. He's just going for style. I like it. I like it. I fucking like it. Oh, fuck it up. I'm actually interested. That's... Okay, I expected the jar to ring on FD, to win on FD, but that felt more like a fucking speed run. Like, I'm really interested to see how it goes in the next game. Oh, especially on the Yoshis. I respect this, but when you come out the gate getting grabbed like that, this guy's in your head. He doesn't give a fuck about matchup spreads. He doesn't give a fuck about, like, the objective way to do things. The most patient fox will fucking crumble if Shire Riding gets a fucking grab on you. You'll freak out. I've seen it happen many a time. Unless he falls off step. That was so risky. You could have got shined. <laughs> oh, fuck it out. My stream lagged, but Shire made it back on stage somehow. Ooh! The rarest spike hitbox into conversion there. That was fucking, like... I can't believe he was ready for that. Okay, okay, okay. If you're getting caught by those weird ass up smashes, you need to be playing more of a, you know, campy kind of aerial game. Playing more against that Luigi than it is against any other character. Ooh! King you fucking it with the nastiest prof move ever. It'll still be called the prof, but like, King you did it. Scary position. Fucking terrifying. I don't like the air dodge, it's too risky. Just fucking take the percent and go on stage. Ooh. The trade. You love that of your Luigi. Slow get up. <sighs> okay, you can actually get a lot of start than Yoshi with the Beautiful side off. Slide off? Side off? Slide off. Come on. I can't see shit. All I saw was the up throw now. If it kills, let's go. This is... Yoshi is such a can pick here, because all the edge cancel, I saw that. Beautiful. Trades of the fucking side B. Oh, King, you got greedy, man! Don't fucking reach for a Luigi there. Just play the space. And here comes the fucking Jar Vortex. This is how he gets his mileage. This is where he fucking shines. Alright, never mind then. This is it. Very miss. I like that a lot. That fucking, that single bit of grabbing a ledge when a, when a fox is fireboxing and you just fucking roll up. That's the biggest looking him in the eyes and saying, fuck you, I know your game. I hate your recovery. Okay, I like that he just went for ledge. Don't risk it. You have the percent to play that game. Lovely. No, don't jump there. And just like that, it's fucking even. Oh my god, man, he didn't have to do it. Unless he did. Um, no, not again! <laughs> Here we go. Does he drop these? I've never seen him drop something like this in this position. Beautiful. Down low. The Randall. That was smart as fuck from Kinnigu. Let's see if he can follow up. Alright, 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 alright. See, that's what I'm saying. Is yeah, you have a technical advantage. Yeah, your playstyle is fucking, you know, none of it. Yeah, you got everything on paper. But when it comes down to that last game, the last stop in Yoshi, Yasha literally doesn't feel a thing. He's a fucking Terminator. He will just clutch it out. Nah, that hurts so much more than anything else. That's what makes you feel bad, because, you know, you start the next game and suddenly you're in a fucking vortex. Okay, okay, dash chance grab. We're back in it. We're back in the momentum. It's swinging. It's not over yet. It's still fucking evenish. Okay, okay, okay. You miss your DI like that and you're fucking dead. But then again. But then again. Oh, you had it, man! That would have been the equalizer. That might be the fucking set. It's crazy how melee can be decided in single stops like that. Because that little tiny friend delay on that shine, that could have been the set. When a game like this matters so much. 
Don't worry, everyone has to go through the fucking humbleizer. That is jar. Lovely. He's just built different. But then again, on the other hand, if Kingu can swing this back into a game five, that's a fucking monstrous way to start game five. To just swing this back from that in a Yoshi's game like this. Like, if you think about it, he would have the edge. Up until he gets grabbed. Oh, he mixed him up. He even slips in a fucking dash attack for a little goodnight kiss. Bro. This is fucking dominant. Like, especially after that game one. No, bro, he's catching the side beats. I said that would be the decider, I didn't think it would be like that. Come on, man. Okay, okay. You know, I'd fucking love to see a comeback right now, because the game 5 would go hard. The game 5 would go so fucking hard. Unless he gets caught with a fucking up tilt. Jab reset, fucking doesn't even move, just like finishes the jabs and then up tilts. Alright, he's slipping about, he's slipping and sliding. I was gonna cover that. The craziest wall bang on stage. Has King you given up mentally though? I would have. I would have given up a long time ago. Oosh. That's a crazy read in neutral. That was he was actually just the adaptation was crazy.